Uh, could you expound a little bit on the uh, free energy technologies that are being kept in that we all need to know about that will free us from fossil fuel slavery? Yeah, in, uh, in my book I quote from Dr. Michael Wolf, who worked in the underground facilities in Nevada and, uh, and Arizona. And he said that the United States uh, forces, in cooperation with the extraterrestrials, had uh, developed both uh, zero-point energy and cold fusion. And these are, the, these are the things people have been searching for, for forever. It's sort of like making gold out of lead, which I'm told they can do now, too, if they want to. So um, it, it's there. And even if it isn't, from what I know of the extraterrestrials secondhand, from people who have talked to them and visited them and been abducted by them, uh, they want us to save our planet. They would give it to us if we, the United States Air Force would stop shooting at them. But uh, we've got to persuade the Americans that we don't want a world where somebody's got to master the world by armed force. We want a world where we reduce, we change our priorities and get rid of these huge defense expenditures and use the money to provide food and shelter and education and clothing for people that don't have any. A kind of different kind of world altogether than what we've had. And that they shouldn't take this, uh, the extraterrestrials on for size, which they seem determined to do. But this is an interesting point. General Eisenhower said, beware of the industrial military complex. What he was really referring to was the fact that he had lost control of ET file. Nelson Rockefeller, it's an interesting name, had, he had hired him to work out who would run the thing. And a lot of the responsibility was turned over to private enterprise. So that the government of the United States has lost control of a whole pile of stuff that's going on out there. The President of the United States doesn't even know what's going on out there. And if he wanted to know, they would just say, Mr. President, you don't have clearance for that project. This is, you know, what it is. But getting back to the point, either the, the uh, technology exists, which I believe, or they would give it to us if we treat them like friendly neighbors uh, and collaborators in the cosmos instead of as enemies that they were originally uh, designated, then uh, I, there's no doubt that we could change the system in 10 years, which is about what we have to do if we change the banking system too. So we've got the money in order to be able to do it.